Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a while since I have filmed a main video that isn't a travel vlog or anything like that. So I was just about to take my makeup off and I thought, why not film a skincare routine, a travel skincare routine, since I've been waiting to do one of these for so long. If you want to know how I take care of my skin on the go when I'm traveling, just keep watching. Okay, first things first, we need to remove the top layer of makeup. So what I would normally do is just use a makeup wipe. These are the Garnier Micellar Water Oil Infused Cleansing Wipes. And I would normally use one of these, maybe two if I've got a lot of makeup on. Um, today I've only got a little bit of makeup on because we didn't really um, go out to anywhere fancy. So I just did a little bit of concealer under the eyes just to um, get rid of the uh, noticeable jet lag that we have currently been experiencing. We've still, well, we're nearly normalized, but I'm still waking up super early. I'm waking up at two o'clock in the morning and then I fall back asleep and then I wake back up at seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, like I said, I just normally just use one wipe. Uh, just gonna go over the eyebrows. I don't even think I filled my eyebrows in today. I haven't. So don't really need to remove anything too much there. It's mainly under the eyes and mainly around the nose and where I just wear bronzer. Okay, now we've removed everything with makeup wipe. We're just gonna chuck that back in the bin and then we're gonna go in with a cleanser. My cleanser that I use is the Mario Badescu Enzyme Cleansing Gel. I don't even know if it's gonna focus. Is it gonna focus? I will link everything in the description box below so you can, if you wanted to have a look at anything, that will be in the box below. So this is perfect because this is a 118 milliliter bottle. Um, this does go in my hold luggage. It doesn't go and come with me on the plane because I have no use for it on the plane. Um, but if you are traveling just with a like cabin baggage, I'm sure that they have a travel size version of this because I have the travel size version of all their other products. So uh, this just happens to be a 180 milliliter bottle, but if I run out of this, I'll probably buy the travel size version too. So I'm just gonna apply this onto my skin and wet my face a little bit with water just so I can cleanse my skin a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit onto my hand and massage that into the skin. I did cleanse this morning. So this is just to make sure that all the makeup is off my skin because I'm gonna do a mask towards the end. Um, which I'm really excited for. It's the Sephora Gold Foil Mask. I picked up four masks um, about two days ago when we went to the Eaton's Shopping Centre, which was um, exciting because we don't have a Sephora back home and they stock all the brands that we can't get hold of in the UK, like Fenty Beauty, um, Tarte Cosmetics. So it was really cool to um, go in there. So now I've cleansed this into my skin. I shouldn't really have to do too much. Like I said, I did cleanse this morning. So I'm just gonna wash this off with cold water. Okay, so now that has washed off, I am gonna go in with my exfoliator, which is the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. This is the 30 milliliter travel size version, which I um, always have in a pouch that sits in my suitcase. I tend to find that having um, travel size items already packed on the suitcase means that you don't have to go out and buy them last minute and if you have to you know take care of other things it's not always um, practical to go out and buy travel size skincare items or anything like that for every individual trip so I found that this just works for me having all of these skincare items already packed in my suitcase so what I'm just gonna do is exfoliate the areas that I normally wear makeup just to make sure that there isn't anything um, left over on the skin and just to get rid of all the dead skin cells. I do this um, two to three times a week but lately I've been doing it nearly every day because it's a little bit cold out here in Toronto so um, making sure that my skin is smooth and then moisturizing just make sure that I'm not gonna break out um, anything like that. So I'm just gonna wash this off with cold water again and we're gonna move on to the other steps. So now that is washed off, we're gonna dry our face, pat it dry. And this is a separate face washcloth that I use. I always bring two with me when I'm traveling. This one is just Sainsbury's, um, just a face flannel washcloth um, because 
I'd never use the same towel that people use um, for their hand towels in the bathrooms because that's where all the bacteria is and then you are literally just applying that straight back onto your face after you have cleansed and removed your makeup. So just drying off the skin and then I'm just gonna apply that face mask I just mentioned from Sephora before I carry on with the end steps of my routine. This is the face mask that I'm applying. It's the Sephora, the golden mask. It's a skin perfecter complex ultra hydrant. The packaging is so pretty. Um, and I'm just gonna read what it says on the back to apply. Unfold the mask, apply the mask to clean dry skin. Okay, I was worried that I dried my skin and I needed to wet it again. Leave on for 15 minutes, remove the mask and massage any excess product into the skin. Right, okay. So that means that I won't be able to go in with my other steps since um, it's supposed to work even after you remove it maybe. Um, we'll probably still go in with the eye makeup steps. So the eye um, skincare steps. So in that case, I'm just gonna mention what I would normally do as a toner. Not in this situation because obviously this mask is gonna be massaged straight back into the skin. So normally after exfoliating, and if I'm not doing a mask or anything else, I would use the Clinique anti blemish Solutions Clarifying Lotion. This is a toner. Um, this one works for oily to combination skin, which is the skin type that I have. It's a toner and there's a powder at the bottom, so you have to shake it up. And you would apply it onto a cotton pad all around your face and you can feel it sting a little bit. That's because it's working all those areas that you may have a breakout or some sort of pimple that's coming onto, up onto your skin. I love this toner so much. I have it, this is like my third bottle now. I also have it in a travel size version, but since there isn't much left, I bought the whole thing with me and I put it into the hold luggage and I thought that I'll probably use it all up by the end of this trip, but I may even have a little bit left. So this is what I use as a toner. It's done, so I'm just gonna open this up. If I can open it up. How do you open this up? Okay, there we go. Wow. Wow, this looks amazing. It smells lovely as well. This is probably the ones that they use in um, the uh, skincare when you go and have a facial. Wow, look at this. I did one of these the other night. I did the uh, Victoria's Secret Glow face mask. And that one felt really nice on the skin because um, where we've been walking around all day, my skin felt like it just needed every moisture it can get. So, wow. And this might actually fit my face. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, so this is what, how scary I'll be looking like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that onto my face. I'll do it on camera actually. So then you can see, wow. Smells amazing. I'm just gonna, wow, I look so weird right now. I look like the character out of Friday the 13th. But sheet masks are never attractive really, are they? Let's just hope that it works as best. Okay, so. I'm gonna go and watch some YouTube now, maybe have a tea, and then leave this on to just do its thing. And then I will come back and remove this and follow on with the end steps of my routine. So I'll see you guys in a little while. Okay guys, so it has been about 15 to 20 minutes and I'm just gonna remove my face mask now. It feels super, dry and set, so. <laughs> okay, so it says to just massage the rest into the skin. So that's what we're gonna do. It smells really nice, and I normally I find that it's the day after you do a face mask that your skin is mo like, you know, noticeably different. So I'm just gonna massage that into the rest. Skin feels smooth, which is great. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other steps that don't require using any other products on top of the face mask since um, that would defeat the object. So I'm gonna go in with my Clinique All About Eyes Serum. I will link this in the description box below as well, just in case you guys wanted to check it out. I'm just gonna apply that under my eyes like this. This helps with dark circles and especially since I haven't been sleeping very well lately because of the jet lag. It, um, helps disappear, like, you know, um, cover up that 
tiredness and the appearance of my eyes. I can I also do it on top as well. Just to um hydrate as well. And I always let that just to sink into my skin. And for lip balm, I've currently got the EOS vanilla mint lip balm, which smells it smells like a candy cane, it smells amazing. So we'll just apply that onto our skin. And since I'm not using these products because of the face mask, I thought I'd still mention them. Yeah. Um, that's the Mario Badescu buffering lotion. And it is also the Mario Badescu drying lotion as well. Those two are used together. This one obviously uh, combats pimples that are already on the surface of your skin. And then this one is um, great for pimples that are underneath the skin and they're just about to come out. This is pretty much everything that I use. Um, I will, like I said, link everything that is that I've used in the description box down below. Oh, didn't mention my moisturizer. My moisturizer is the Clinique. Let me focus on that. The Clinique Moisture Surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. This one is the travel size version of my big one that I have back home. And it's perfect for um, even your cabin bag, anything that you take on the airplane with you just to top up your skin um, if you're on quite a long flight. So that's everything that I use. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and find it a little bit helpful um, for products that you may have wanted to try. And I will see you in the next one.